I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand steps to sketch a transform trigonometric function. The question here is sketch graph of y equals to 4 sine 2 theta minus 60 degrees plus 5. So first step always is to write it properly so that we understand exactly the horizontal transformations. So we have here 4 sine, I prefer square bracket, factor 2 out then you get theta minus. When you factor 2 out, you get 30 degrees. Uh, actually, strictly speaking, we should write degrees here. Plus 5. Now, to be sure, you should actually open and check. 2 times theta is 2 theta, and 2 times minus 30 is minus 60. So that is perfect. Now, to sketch this kind of a graph, what we really need is, is a two-step process. When I say two-step process, what I will do is, I will sketch the graph without horizontal translation in the first step and then incorporate this horizontal translation. That is my two-step process. Then it really becomes very simple. Now let me show you how. Now first analyze your data, what each and everything is telling you. This is axis, correct? x is y equals to 5 and this is amplitude a, a is 4 for you, right? So maximum value is x is plus 4, so we have maximum which is 4 plus 5 which is 9, minimum which is difference of these, right? Which is from 5 you take away 4, correct? From 5 you take away 4 and you get 1. And then we have to look into the time period, time period will be uh, 360 degrees divided by 2 and that is 180 degrees. Well these are good enough parameters to understand before sketching this graph and of course the last one is phase. Phase shift is 30 degrees to right. Is it okay? That means plus 30 degrees. Now let's apply all these transformations and sketch the graph. Let me first draw the axis itself. So we'll just draw one wave for this function. Uh, since we are moving up by 5 units, let me take uh, the x-axis kind of like here. Now first step is always sketch the axis. Let us say this is units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Correct. So, so at 5, we have one axis, which is this one, correct? So that takes care of 5, the axis, right? Now, let me draw a dotted line for the maximum. Maximum will be 5 plus 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 9 for us. Just a dotted line, showing maximum, minimum at 1, just a dotted line. Okay, so let me write down what we have done here. We have 5, 1, 9. So if you have a good graph paper, you don't have to do so much of rough work. Now we have a time period of uh, 180. So let us say that is our time period. Okay. So whenever you are drawing uh, trigonometric functions, it is a good idea to split the time period into four quarters. I hope you will appreciate it. Four quarters means half of 180 is 90. So let me draw a dotted line for half of that. And then one fourth and three fourth, right? So since I do not have a graph paper to work with, uh, these lines will guide me to draw a fairly accurate, I should say, graph, correct? So we can write this as uh, 90, which is half of 180, and that one is 45, all are degrees, and then we can add 45 and get 135 here. Okay, so that becomes our theta. Okay, now, sine graph, as you know, is, uh, let me show you how sine graph should be. We are expecting a graph like this. That is the sine function, right? Perfect. So there is no reflection, so that way it should work. So as I was saying in first step, I will do this graph. Axis is known to us, so at axis we get three zeros. These are my 
three zeros right alternate values that is my maximum this is my minimum correct once I join them I would join them with a light color so that we could actually draw a final graph with a darker shade right okay so we'll take this shade so we can just join it like this that is one wave of sine and of course sine graph we can repeat okay let's go like this okay that's fine but really we have to incorporate the phase shift which is of 30 degrees to the right correct now here we are saying 45 so 30 basically is uh, three divisions of 90 so i should have taken three divisions so that is good correct so that much so this much is 30 degrees for me uh what i mean to say right uh, not really 30 but uh, 30 is this much right so this much is 30 degrees for me so if i split i should say translate horizontally by 30 degrees i get my final result is it right so every point is moved 30 units to right so that is how I'm moving 30 units to the right to finish my graph right so I can write this as do you see that part so that becomes my final result and it's very important to label these two points let me write these two points when I add plus 30 to 180 I get 210 so this is 210 degrees and here the starting point here will be at 30 degrees correct so that is how my final graph is going to be so so let me just highlight this with this color okay so what I did was that I have actually drawn two particular graphs one which is this one which is 4 sine 2 theta plus 5 that is my first graph and in the second graph I translated so I got 4 sine 2 times theta minus 30 degrees is that okay plus 5 translated then you get your final result and if you draw like this you know you are going to quickly draw without any calculations without any calculations right well there are so many other ways to do it one of course is you can take key points right so i always give you key points so that some of you who really want to sketch with the help of key points they should do it you know why not so key points for sine graph as you can see here are zero zero right then this maximum is at pi by 2 so pi by 2 1 and then at pi you have a 0 at pi you have 0 and 3 pi by 2 minus 1 and at 2 pi you again have 0 these are your key values looking into the equation you know the transformation so the transformation here is that the x values become half of the original x values and then you have to add 30 to it right so 30 degrees that is the transformation for x for y values you have to multiply by 4 and add 5 once you do this transformation of these points you will get these points plot those points join them to get the final result right so that way is also it works right so x value will be when you do half of this plus you get 30 and 0 plus I mean 4 times y I should have written here you get 5 right so you get your first point do you get the idea right uh, and pi by 2 I wrote I should have written all this in degrees so let me correct that okay so that's a mistake I'm so used to writing pi by 2 so I should have written here 90 degrees is 1 0 0 is fine 180 degrees is 0 and then 270 degrees is minus 1 and then 360 degrees is 0 correct so now you can do half of these degrees half is 45 45 plus 30 will give you 75 at 1 correct in this oh sorry uh, 1 times 4 plus 1 9 9 this is degrees 
Then 180 half is 90, 90 plus 30 is 120, right? So this will be 120. The y value gets multiplied by 4 and then add 5, so it becomes 5. So likewise, you can do your calculation. You will get the points which I have shown here. And then join them. So that is another straightforward and easy way of doing it. But I prefer to show you and appreciate how really the transformation takes place. I hope you understand and appreciate. Thank you and all the best.